Hi everybody, I've got a grocery outlet haul. We haven't been down there in a while. Thought we'd go down there and check it out. We didn't really have a whole lot in the budget right now uh, to spend. Um, so we, we kept it under, uh, you know, under a certain amount. I forget what it was that we bought. Like 30, maybe. 30. Yeah, I'd say. Uh, I don't have the receipt with me, but I think that's how much it was. But anyway... I got a couple of things. One's refrigerated and one's frozen. They had, I was hoping they had the bigger ones, but they had Grand's Flaky Biscuits, the original. And I think there's, there's five in here. So that's, you know, that's plenty enough for a couple of meals for us. So they were only 79 cents. That's great because um, I know the bigger size of Grand's was more like, four dollars at walmart close to four dollars if not maybe more i was shocked how much they were uh, last time we went well, i didn't get any of them but um then we got these mayfield creamery nutty buddy super scoops made with real ice cream it's vanilla flood vanilla fudge vanilla flavored ice cream with fudge core chocolate flavored coating covered in peanuts and um if anybody knows much about Mayfield, it's really high, which all ice cream is right now. But this was $1.99, which I thought was a fantastic deal. So that's only two things refrigerated, but I want to put them up because this is ice cream. So I'll be right back. We got two of those biscuits. I was looking for some um, oatmeal cups, kind of like these we got there before. I got a few of these left. This strawberries and cream it was only $1.99 for four they didn't have any more of them but I'm gonna keep my eye out for those because that especially that one is really really good Logan tried it the other day and I tried some of it um if any of y'all have priced chicken in a biscuit crackers which are these are so good by themselves but with like some sharp cheddar cheese or something oh my goodness they're just really good snack um the family size, uh, the last time I looked at the smaller box, uh, it was at Kroger, I think, just out of curiosity, I was looking at it, and it was like, I think it was close to $4, and uh, this one was two forty nine dollars for the family size. Now, if the small box is $4, I don't know what this one would be, five or uh, who knows, but I haven't priced the big one, so I think that's a great buy, and those are really good. Now, this wasn't anything like Markdown or anything. They do have a Little Debbie um, table, I guess you'd say, or it's got shelves on it and stuff. And he comes in and uh, fills it up and everything like that. But for $2.29, right now, that's a good price. I think at Kroger, they're anywhere from like $2.59 to $2.99. I think there's one a little bit lower than that. Not much. <clears throat> but we, uh, we saw something. Somebody had tried them or something. The strawberry Swiss rolls, um, they're new. I don't know if they're a limited thing or not, but but anyway, uh, she, Joy wanted to try them, which I think that's a good idea because we like regular Swiss rolls. I've never tried any strawberry kind or anything. So yeah, we got those. These, we got, I got a bag of these uh, Ritz Crisp and Thins the last time we went, and they're $1.99. Yeah, $1.99, and, um, which is a great buy, too. They're all so close to $4 uh, at Walmart. Uh, this is the original with creamy onion and sea salt, and believe me, these are so good. And they're, um, I'm sure they're, they're oven-baked. So your nutrition facts would be better than it would be for, let's say, the chicken and a biscuit. And looking at the chicken and a biscuit for 12, it's only 160 calories, 10% total fat, 3% saturated, 10% sodium. That's not real, real, real bad if you don't eat them all day long. <laughs> but you can, this has 50% less fat, and you can um, have, how many? 21 of them. It's hard to stop. Uh, 21 of them, uh, 130 calories, only 6% of total fat, no saturated fat. So that's about right. 
you got 10% on those and 3%, and then you got 6% and 0%. But that's not chips. Does it say 50% less than other leading regular fried potato chips? Okay. I'm just comparing it to the chicken and biscuit. No trans fat, no cholesterol, 9% of sodium. So that's, how did that have? I'm saying 10%. 8% carbs, 7% fiber, 2% sugars, 4% calcium, 2% iron, and 6% potassium. So not bad. Not bad. So I try, um, like if I'm going to snack on something, I, I try to stay away from the regular chips at night because it's hard to stop. So at least I can eat, what did it say? It means 21, and if I eat more, it's still not real bad. <laughs> oh my God, oh my God. Okay. Hi, kitty. Got some bread. I found these, and usually these, um, I don't know if they make a mistake at the factory, maybe sometimes. There's kitty. And, uh, they're supposed to have like a little top on them with some like cracker things in it or something. These kettle slow cook style, as far as I know. I'm pretty sure because I, I I've seen other ones there that have the top on them with like oyster crackers, but we've got our own crackers. I'm just saying that's why these are probably there. There's no top and uh, they're only 50 cents. And it's a, it's a Campbell's slow kettle style broccoli cheddar with a crunch. Okay, see it's supposed to have cheddar cheese crisps and seasoned croutons. They're not on it. Uh, None of them had them on it. They were all like this, right, Kitty? You think you would like that? Uh, she thinks that's like a little cat food thing. So 50 cents, so we got three of them uh, for our soup and sandwich night. It's a smaller thing. Maybe it won't have as bad of nutrition facts. Uh-oh. I don't like the nutrition facts as good that go this way and don't have like the up and down one like, you know, like that. I like that much better. So much easier to read. But yeah, this one, 200 calories, 18% of total fat, 35% saturated. That's your cheese and stuff. So I could go on, but you know, that's a smaller one at least. And you could have a, a healthy sandwich. And speaking of sandwiches, we've really got to like this Lewis brand of different breads and buns and stuff. But that's not kitty stuff, honey, just a minute. We really like that. So this one was $1.59. But 50 cents each is way cheap for those uh, slow kettle ones. Believe me, that's... I don't know how much it is with the actual thing on But that's how they ended up there. They must had a mess up in manufacturing. They didn't get the lids on. They all got packed. I'm just guessing, you know, what, why else would it end up there? Kitty, are you hungry? Your tuna's in here. Let me see. Haunting, I'll just get it for. Where is it, Kitty? Here it is. There you go. There you go. Have you some tuna? No, there's nothing wrong with that. I just gave it to you earlier. It's not regular tuna. At first, we were giving her the tuna in the pouches. You know, but it's not as, if it's not made for cats, it's not as good for them. Like the mercury might be higher or something. So we get the uh, Fancy Feast, I think it is, appetizers. She likes the tuna with scallop topping. Scallop topping. You don't want it. Okay, I'll put it back. Let me get her something else. She's wanting something or she's going to dig into these bags. The sun kind of, it's sunny out. It's kind of causing a little bit of glare action over here. I don't know if it's very noticeable. Oh, I I set my, the resolution wasn't set. It was on like default on my phone. I, I put it on what seems to be the highest. It says 60 UHD 60, like ultra high definition 60. And it says it'll cause uh, it to have smooth frame something i guess that means if you're like doing a walkthrough for instance or you're you're walking or doing anything you know how when you move the camera even though even though i move it real slow it looks really fast so you got to really go slow super slow to make it to where it's not looking like it's moving 
too fast. It makes me dizzy too. So this I think is supposed to make that not as not as much happen, I guess. Not not to happen as much. Okay, unless you actually do move the camera fast. Because it is hard to do. I got a couple more of these because they don't have hardly any left. And we haven't tried it yet, but I know it's going to be good. This uh, They're only 79 cents. And I, I love, one reason is I love this little container. I mean, this would almost like make a little, I don't know. I, don't, I guess you can take these stickers off. A uh, little like I don't, for, for maybe a homemade dressing would be perfect. Here you go. Homemade dressing or something, or I don't know. I don't know if it's to where you could like drink out of it or something. I just think they're neat. It'd make a nice little um, uh, thing to put flowers in, a vase, I think. But anyway, this is Curtis Brothers Organic Ketchup, America's first ketchup since 1868. So, and I believe this one says... Mm, enjoy at room temperature is what it says it doesn't say anything about uh, don't thump don't shake just pour enjoy at room temperature so uh, that to me is saying you don't have to uh, refrigerate it which I've heard that about ketchup so I got two of them and I already have two I believe so that's like a set of four I think it'd be good for some kind of DIY thing you know make something out of somehow and I don't know how much cocktail sauce is one of the things you, I can't remember half the time of how much we've got. And we got a bunch of shrimp left, so I went ahead and got one more. Notice the brand Meyer. They're liable to have any brand. And it was only a dollar nineteen. It says zesty, so it might be a little more spicy. So we got her a, a energy drink. It was eighty nine cents. Dollar nineteen for the um cocktail sauce got two cases of water purified drinking water for a uh, 349 each and they've got chocolate ones but i know logan likes how do i smash that a little bit logan really likes oatmeal raisin cookies so i got these for him and maybe next time when we're able to go down there uh they got a chocolate chip if they still got any left i have a feeling these are a lot like tate's but there's Simple Truth, which is Kroger brand, thin and crispy oatmeal raisin cookies um, made with fair trade ingredients, made in peanut-free facility, crispy, thin, and they're $1.99, seven ounce, I can't tell how much is in it. See, they like Simple Truth is supposed to be better. It has less ingredients than what I would normally see on cookies. So sometimes less means more when preparing these cookies. We start with a short list of high quality ingredients so they're crammed full of the bake shop flavor you'll love. Buttery, thin, and satisfyingly crispy. You'll delight in these cookies down to the last crumb. I really bet they're a lot like Tate's. But for $1.99, I think Tate's is like that. six or seven bucks or something. I'm not mistaken. We've got some of this here before. Uh, there before, I mean. It's Grand Vita Nine Seeds Granola, and they love it. And it was a dollar, and it's marked down to 50 cents. So you wait. There's nothing can be wrong with, with this. It's dry, you know? And it, it just went out of date a few days, like 16th. Believe me, this would last a long time, unopened especially. Uh, but so we got four. And they're gone. They'll be gone the probably next time. Uh, they got a boatload of those in is what they did. Okay, so Kitty's sitting down here. You didn't eat your you didn't eat your dry food. You didn't eat your tuna. I don't know what else you want What else you want? Okay, I think that's gonna be it everybody it was like I said it wasn't very expensive or anything um, Today was Angus Tuesday. They had ground sirloin or something like that 3.99 a pound just we we've got those we got we only used one of them so far i think we got one out for today and i already had one so i still have at least three pounds and you know 
so we didn't really need it right now. But anyway, that's it. I hope you all enjoyed this medium size haul. Sure didn't cost that much. That's the way to shop, everybody. And now, Ibotta, I can't use it there. They, they're not on Ibotta, but um, sure can get, you know, cheap brand name items, you know, still cheap. So, um, I've been using Ibotta a lot lately. So, anyway, I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please press that like button. Also, subscribe if you haven't already and share this out. And hit that <laughs> so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Have a great day, everybody. And always remember, as far as Grocery Outlet, if yours says Bargain Market underneath Grocery Outlet, it's a different company. Although I hear lots of great things about them. Ours is actually United Grocery Outlet. So, um, just that's the difference. They're mainly here uh, in the south, uh, southeast kind of. Um, Tennessee, I think they got one in Georgia, one in Alabama, I think, maybe. And in Virginia, I'm not sure about Kentucky. There's only four or five states are in. So hopefully they'll keep growing and everybody will get one sooner or later. So you'd think in this economy they'd be really growing too. So anyway, thanks for watching everybody and I'll see you later on. And oh no, that was something else. I, I don't want to start talking about something else. I'll just keep rambling. I'll say it in another video. Bye everybody. It's nothing, just something to talk about. I was going to talk about. Talk to you later and have a great day and God bless.